All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. Make sure you check out Pig and a Pickle, title sponsor of the Krug Show. They're in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week in Marin from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday in Emeryville. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. All right. Well, the 49ers have a stated goal every year, and their goal was to win the Super Bowl. And they've gotten really, really close under Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, but they haven't added the sixth Lombardi to that trophy case, and they are hungry for it. It will change everything. It will change the way Kyle Shanahan is viewed as a head coach. It will change the way Jed York is viewed as an owner. It will change the way John Lynch is viewed as a general manager. Um, so many people have so much writing on the 49ers ultimately winning that sixth Lombardi trophy. Niners have not won a Super Bowl since January of 1995. You got to go back to the 1994 season, the last time the 49ers, <clears throat> excuse me, won a Super Bowl. And I'm going to give you the 10 players, the 10 young players that have to come of age this year if the 49ers go into the Super Bowl. Not everybody on your roster um, has as much on the line. Some some guys are role players. Other guys are big contributors. Some guys are younger, and, and you expect more from them in future seasons. Um, but here are the 10 young players all ascending and getting better that the 49ers have to have breakout this year if they're going to get by Philly, get by Kansas City, get by Buffalo, get by Cincinnati, get by Dallas and anybody else standing in their way and win the Super Bowl in Las Vegas, by the way. All right, let's go down the list. On offense, J.P. Mason, Jordan Mason, second-year player out of Georgia Tech. You know, Bobby Turner this week said, you know what, Jordan Mason's upside is limitless. There's a lot of potential there. When I look at Jordan Mason, I see a poor man's Marshawn Lynch. He breaks tackles. He runs with power. He runs through arm tackles. This guy's a force. You know, I like Christian McCaffrey. He's really special. Elijah Mitchell has shown that he can run between the tackles. But if Jordan Mason can become a, 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 a Marshawn Lynch type back, the 49ers are going to have a complete offensive backfield and a dominant run game. And I think he's capable of doing it. So number one on the list, Jordan Mason, J.P. Mason. I think he's got huge potential. Great, great talent. All right, number two on the offense, Colton McKivitz steps in at right tackle for Mike McGlinchey. And Colton McKivitz needs to play at a really high level if the 49ers are going to keep Brock Purdy upright or whoever their quarterback is and if they're going to win games. And I think McKivitz is a really nice pass protector can he open up holes in the run game? That's the question. McGlinchey was really good as a run blocker. Can McKivitz be good as a run blocker? Um, in a lot of ways, he's the final piece to their offensive line puzzle. If McKivitz has a big year, I think the Niners are probably going to have a big year. All right, let's go to the next guy, Danny Gray. Danny Gray has huge potential. He's not just a track guy with 4-3 speed. He's got ball skills. Danny Gray's a receiver, and he needed to get stronger. He needed to learn the system. I expect him to show up this summer and ball out. Now, this guy's a vertical threat. He's a home run hitter. He can make big plays. He can stretch the field. They need Danny Gray to make the team, to play from scrimmage, to create space on offense, and to give them that explosive down-the-field threat. And they need to throw it to him down the field, and they need to connect on passes to Danny Gray down the field. So Danny Gray is number three on the list. Number four, Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy's most likely going to be the Niners starter. He's coming off a major injury, but he's also coming off a phenomenal year. If he can take his game to the next level, show that he's healthy, and show even a decent level of improvement, uh, the 49ers are going to have a huge year. There's no doubt Brock Purdy has the arrow pointing up. And what you saw last year, in my mind, was not accidental. So those are the four guys on offense. Um... Another guy on special teams, Jake Moody. Jake Moody takes over for Robbie Gold. They need Jake Moody to make big kicks. That means in the playoffs, and that means likely to win games. 
Jake Moody steps in for Robbie Gold. Robbie Gold never missed in the playoffs. There's a lot of pressure on Jake Moody uh, because of Robbie Gold's success, because of the stakes uh, that are on the line this year with the 49ers going for a Super Bowl. Jake Moody has to play, and he has to play well, and he has to be reliable. He's got to make kicks in the playoffs. All right, that's offense and special teams. So you got five guys there. Let me give you five more on defense. Drake Jackson. You know, Cleveland Farrell, I think, is going to be better with the Niners than he was with the Raiders. Austin Bryant is not bad in a rotation. Um, There's a number of interesting players there, but nobody has the talent of Drake Jackson to step up opposite Nick Bosa. Unless the 49ers are going to invest in a veteran edge rusher, and I'm not sure if they are, they need Drake Jackson to get to the next level, earn the starting job, and be a force opposite Nick Bosa. And there's nothing that, that based on what I've seen in camp, that tells me that, I, that that's not going to happen. Drake's in great shape. He's flying off the ball. His mindset's right. He's hungry. Uh, I think he's primed for a big year. Marcelino McCrary Ball, the linebacker, had a really strong preseason sat behind Aziz and Warner and Greenlaw. Marcelino is in great shape. They're going to run him at the middle backer spot. He's going to play some Mike linebacker. Uh, He's got the ability to play the weak side. This guy started at Indiana as a corner, played the nickel. A lot of talent, a lot of ability to play coverage. Uh, I really think Marcelino is a special linebacker. I don't think he's good. I think he's potentially great. And I'm looking for Marcelino to really bust out in year number two. Diamador Lenore, you know, opposite, when you're playing opposite Charvarius Ward, you're going to see the ball. You know, they're not going to, they're not going to test Charvarius. They're not going to test Mooney. They're coming at you, Demo. They're going to be testing you all day and every day. So um, he needs to step up. And he did at the end of last year. He just needs to continue that. Uh, he's a really good young player. He's got a lot of confidence, a lot of swagger. Demo Lenore is going to get picked on. He's got to show that he can step up. Samuel Womack, another young corner with a ton of talent. This guy almost had three pick sixes last year. He needs to take a couple of those back this year. He needs to improve his awareness in zone. Uh, He needs to play tighter coverage in man. Um, But the talent's all there. Womack's got everything you want in a young corner. I love his talent. I love his potential. And I see great things for his future. And I see great things starting for him this year. And number 10 on the list is the only rookie outside of Moody, and that's Jair Brown, the third-round pick out of Penn State. Jair Brown needs to take the job away from Tayshawn Gibson, and he needs to be a productive interceptor and play the hell out of the free safety spot. And, man, if he does, this Niner defense will get to a different level on defense than they saw from a year ago. Uh, I like Tayshawn Gibson, but but, uh, Jair Brown's got more potential more upside, more of a complete player all the way through. If Jair Brown can be the big-time playmaker for the Niners that he was at Penn State and prior to that at the JUCO uh, level at Lackawanna Junior College, the 49ers are going to be noticeably better on the back end. So there you go. Those are the 10 guys, all young players, all with the arrow pointing up. If those 10 guys come of age, and you might even be throw might be able to throw Kalia Davis in there because I think Davis's talent is off the charts as well. But I'll just keep it to those ten. Those ten guys come of age and really you know fulfill their potential. The 49ers are going to add a six Lombardi Trophy to the trophy case in Santa Clara. All right, hope you enjoyed our 49er video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the show, and thanks to all of you for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.